ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. Finally, after a little bit of a hiatus this summer, um, it's kind of the norm for the channel um, to kind of slow down and for me to take a little break from pumping out videos when the outdoor season hits. Normally, um, I like to just focus on, you know, the task at hand, which is racing my motorcycle and being the best racer and everything that I can be. There's obviously a lot going on during the season uh, between bike work, traveling, racing, uh, working out, all that stuff. It can be pretty tough to, to keep up on the videos and especially this season, I did an extra poor job of keeping up on that because this was one of the first seasons where I really felt like I had some potential to do really well and I wanted to devote as much of my time and energy to training and becoming a better racer and getting good results and I'm extremely fortunate that you guys are always very understanding of that you guys are aware that my mentality is I'm a racer first and a content creator second and that's just how it's gonna be as long as I'm racing pro motocross so and I definitely think that it showed I mean this season I got some of my my best results as a professional motocross racer had really good consistency battled it out and raced hard with some really fast guys so although the videos took a little bit of a hit I feel really good about this summer and as you guys know from watching the videos, things went really well. So thank you for being so understanding and sticking with me through this outdoor season because now that the fall weather time is hitting and I don't really have any more races to go do, we're gonna start pumping these videos out. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stick to a really strict upload schedule of Saturday, Monday, Wednesday. So three videos kind of evenly spaced out throughout the week. And based on the title of this video, you guys already know I have some awesome content that's gonna keep me busy all fall. So I hope you guys are really excited for that. I know I am definitely excited to pick the camera back up and uh, and get back into the swing of making videos for you guys because honestly I really miss it and I'm ready to get back into it now if you're a longtime viewer of the channel um, you've come to expect just action-packed videos lots of GoPros lots of race vlogs um, traveling vlogs stuff like that which is awesome and uh, that's kind of what I built this channel on but I'm also extremely interested in the mechanical side of racing motocross. I like to do bike work. I like to make sure my bikes are really pristine all the time. I like to figure out ways to make my bike better. I like to take it apart, figure out how it works, um, figure out how to make it more reliable, handle better, faster, um, more comfortable. I honestly spend most of my time doing that stuff, but up until now, I haven't really had like a solid area to film any videos of that nature and you guys know I've kind of been like a gypsy these past couple years moving around from place to place. I would be in Florida for college for a while, then I would come home to my parents house in the summer, then I'd be out in California for a little bit, then I'd be back to Florida, back to Michigan, spend some time in Ohio, California and back. I never really had a place that I could call my own and really get set up in and I never had a place that I could like justify spending a lot of time and money into making it. Um, a really nice like studio to film some good videos in because let's be honest if I'm gonna be pumping out videos working in a garage to potentially a couple hundred thousand viewers I want it to be someplace that I can be really proud of and not embarrassed by all the junk that's like laying around and stuff which up until now I haven't really had which is kind of unfortunate because I really want to make a bunch of those videos you know I want to help you guys set your bikes up right I want to show you guys building my race bikes building some old two strokes I want to help you guys just get the most out of your machines and I've been really bummed that I haven't had a place to do that up until now and of course you guys already read the title of this video so you know what I'm about to show you but uh, you haven't seen it yet and let me tell you I'm looking at it right now it's pretty sweet so with that being said let's go ahead do a little slow pan across my backyard and give you guys a first look at the brand new Walker Motorsports race shop sheesh I don't know what looks better old red or big blue so there we have it if you can't tell by the look on my face I'm so so stoked to share this with you guys um, it's been something I've been keeping a secret for like a month and a half now while we were finalizing paperwork and all that if you bought a house you know how that all goes down um, but yeah enough of the talk let's go take a look at this thing give you guys the specs the plans for the build and uh, let's just go get you guys excited about it so let's go take a closer look so here we go boys as we get closer and give you a little size comparison with my KTM 450 here you can see that this thing is actually quite sizable it's 40 feet long 30 feet deep so it's plenty of race shop here definitely way bigger than what I was even looking for or hoping for I could have gotten away with something probably half the size and every workshop that I've worked in before was a quarter of this size so this is such a huge upgrade the blue color actually goes pretty well with the Adept Creative Co. KTM 450 graphics, but I don't think it's gonna stay blue for very long. Speaking of changing things, I'm sure you guys can guess that 
We have a lot, a lot of plans for this thing, which I will talk about very shortly. But first, I guess I should tell you guys how I actually acquired this. Bridget and I have actually been looking for a house for like a year now. Um, if you guys are in the market for buying a house, you know the market is crazy right now. I told Bridget, find whatever house you want, but as long as it has either a really nice garage or a detached pole barn, I'm in. I'll turn around and give you guys a little look at the house back there. So surprise, Bridget and I bought a house and it came with this awesome pole barn or probably more accurately, we bought a pole barn and it came with a house. That's how I'm looking at it. But as I said, we bought this about a month ago, um, maybe a little over a month ago. And the only reason that I didn't show it to you guys sooner is that the house um, is kind of an old farmhouse and it, it needed a little bit of a work. So we have been 100% focused on that. And the barn, as you guys will see in a minute, kind of turned into a woodworking shop as we were you know, doing floor, ripping out ceiling, ripping out cabinets, building stuff. Um, it's a bit of a, a mess in the barn right now. And I didn't want to show you guys the barn when I knew it was going to be a solid month before we could actually make any content on it. But, but now that things are kind of coming to an end in the house, it's finally time to clean the pole barn out and start building that thing and start turning it into the Walker race shop of my dreams, which I'm obviously freaking stoked about. And that means we are gonna be able to make so much awesome content in here. And uh, in just a minute, I'll show you guys the inside. The only reason I've been stalling is because as I said, it's a bit of a mess in there. I thought about cleaning it out pretty good before I showed it to you guys, but then I kind of thought to myself like, no, I want you guys to truly get an accurate representation of the full build start to finish of this thing and see exactly what it looks like the day that we start this build. So <laughs> without further ado, I'll go ahead and open the door and uh, just brace yourselves, okay? It's not gonna look like this for very long, I swear. Okay. Well, did not take long for this thing to turn into an absolute mess. Let me flick the lights on here. Yep, here's the woodworking station over here. Some fridges and appliances that we took out. A table that I built. Turns out I'm not a half bad carpenter. That'll come into handy when I decide to build the van out better, which will probably be another thing we're gonna do this fall. Nice little zero turn mower back there. My first adult purchase. I'm truly turning into a dad now. Vapor blast cabinet and um, trash. But as you guys can see, it's so huge, I kind of have to step way back for you guys to get an actual look at the entire inside. And uh, when you look beyond the trash, this thing is absolutely solid. I mean, it's fairly new. We got this place at auction, so there wasn't a whole lot of information on it. But if I had to guess, I would say it can't be older than 10 years old. The metal siding is super nice. The concrete, also very, very nice. There's really only one big crack in it right over here. But I'm going to recruit the help of one of my buddies who does epoxy flooring and get the flooring all done. So. They already have some electric out here, so all I have to do is run some outlets. But yeah, I mean, it's a super solid starting point. Frame is really, really nice. And I mean, look at this thing, dude, it's huge. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all this. So this is literally a dream shop for a 26 year old dude who races motocross and does other extreme sports. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even know how I got so lucky. As I said, 40 by 30, it is way, way bigger than anything that I even need. But hey, that just means I get to buy more dirt bikes and fill it up. Or maybe we even venture into some other stuff like cars and mountain bikes and all sorts of cool stuff. So, so from this angle, you almost can't see the trash and you guys can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like once it's all cleaned out. So let's go ahead, pop a squat on the new mower here and uh, talk about some plans for this thing. So being that my YouTube channel is up to like 200,000 subscribers now, as I said, I really need a place where I can be really proud to film in and um, my goal is to, to pretty much turn this place into like a showroom. As I said, I have a buddy who owns an epoxy flooring company. He's gonna come over and uh, help me out with some epoxy flooring for this thing. The concrete is pretty nice, but putting an epoxy floor in obviously is gonna make it really easy to clean up. It's gonna brighten the whole space, make it better for filming. Of course, I'm gonna run electric from that panel that's already over there, put some outlets, put some 220 outlets because I fully plan on getting a welder someday and learning how to do all of that. This place is in Michigan and it gets rather cold here. So I have planned for doing foam board and roll out insulation. And then of course, finishing that off with some drywall. The price of plywood is unreal right now and it would be super expensive to plywood this whole thing. So I think we're gonna go with drywall because it is a much, much
much cheaper option right now and I think it just looks nicer when it's all done anyways. The ceiling, we're definitely gonna put a drop ceiling in where these beams are right here. And then just have someone blow some insulation up in there to make sure this thing is super, super warm all winter. I'll probably down south where it's warm most of the winter um, doing my training, but in this whole fall season, I wanna make sure that I can work out here every day and film videos for you guys comfortably. Beyond that, definitely gonna run propane and water out here as well as probably internet because I actually got a security system which I'm going to be hooking up in this video. Um, I knew that when I was getting a barn and a house, security was going to be at the top of my priority list because last year when my Nikki Hayden bike got stolen, that was such a heartbreak. I don't ever want to have to go through that ever again. So it just worked out that Simply Safe also wanted to work with me on the channel. So we got a full Simply Safe system in the house right now that we are going to install. We've got some outdoor and indoor cameras. Um, motion sensors, alarms, all sorts of stuff like that. So very, very exciting stuff. I hope you guys are stoked on the new Walker Motorsports race shop. But first things first, in episode one, I basically just wanna get this thing really clean and install the security system so that my precious babies are nice and safe. So what do you say we go take a look at the Simply Safe package and get that stuff installed? Okay, so we got our Simply Safe boxes. Let's uh, open these bad boys up, take a look at what we got to secure our home. Welcome to Simply Safe. Thank you. Well, holy cow. Here is the lineup of all the stuff that Simply Safe makes. Now, if you guys are unaware, Simply Safe is a home security system that uh, keeps up with all the latest technology. They have a really nice app that goes along with all of these sensors, and they have an online service where if any of these are tripped, it will alert local authorities and they will come help you if there is a burglar who is trying to break into your house. Or in this case, your pole barn. I reached out to Simply Safe about getting some cameras set up for the pole barn and they said, oh, that's perfect because this month we're actually pushing our brand new wireless outdoor security camera. So that's gonna be awesome. Up until this point, they just had their indoor security camera, which you would put inside your house or like up in a corner of the pole barn over there, which I'm still gonna do. But I knew that if someone pulled up my driveway, I wanted to know about it. So this is the big one that I'm excited about for the pole barn. These guys over here, the doorbell, the carbon monoxide, smoke detectors, glass break, motion sensors, panic button, all that stuff is gonna go in the house. So all this stuff is going to be absolutely awesome. And then obviously when Bridget and I are both gone, uh, we're gonna have some good peace of mind that the house and the pole barn are taken care of really well. But let's take a look at the video cameras which are going in the pole barn. So here we are with the indoor camera. This thing is pretty awesome. So this is actually wired and this will go up in the corner of the pole barn and that will get a good look down at the bikes and all the stuff that's inside the pole barn. That's gonna be sweet at any time, no matter where I am in the country, I can get on the Simply Safe app, hook into this camera, take a look at the bikes and uh, just make sure everything is all good. It also has a motion sensor built in so if anyone does break into the pole barn it will alert me on my app and I can check it and it has this little speaker right here so I can actually yell at people through it if anyone is in my pole barn when I check the app so that's really cool but like I said it has to be corded and it is not weatherproof which is where this big boy comes in the wireless outdoor security camera conveniently open here yes sir Yes, sir. Get the satisfying pull. Oh yeah, how nice. Not only is this thing super safe, but it looks fantastic. It's gonna look awesome on the side of my brand new pole barn. So this thing has a 140 degree field of view, so it's gonna catch a lot of what's going on outside the pole barn. It has 1080p high definition resolution with eight times zoom. So if anyone does come in my yard, I can zoom straight in on their license plate, straight in on their face, get a good look at who they are. And that stuff will be critical for finding a burglar or someone if they pull up and uh, somehow get away. You know, it'll be easy to find them if I have their license plate number or a picture of what their face looks like. It has a built-in spotlight here. That's what this is in the middle. And it also has night vision. So even if someone pulls up at night, we are well and protected. Now, as I said, the great thing about this is it's also wireless. Um, it has an easily detachable battery and Wi-Fi. So, you know, you can mount it probably right up in the corner there is where I'm gonna mount it so it gets a good look at everything. It'll see anyone who's trying to break into the house or the barn. So I think that's probably where it's gonna go and that is why I'm going to run internet out to my barn eventually. For right now, I'll probably mount it up on the side of the house looking at the pole barn. So those are the specs. Let's go uh, install this thing and see how easy it is and maybe take a look through the cameras on the app. So yeah, let's go get this thing installed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this thing up on the deck of my house looking down at the 
the pole barn. This is a pretty cool design right here. This black knob on the back is actually a super strong magnet that just sits right in this little uh, dimple here. So you, you mount this part to the wood and then the camera you can pivot it all around to uh, capture whatever you need to got the bracket mounted this guy twists on nice and strong and now there we go look at that so that's how easy it is let's get the battery in this thing start up the app connect it and see what it looks like all right so as you can see we got both cameras set up here now we can click watch live and it will bring up the indoor one, which is currently just in our dining room. Um, oh, you can actually see me through the window. How funny. All right, I'm just gonna, oh, this way? Nope, wrong way. <laughs> and then you can back out of that and initiate the outdoor one. So let's see how that looks. There we go. Looks awesome. I'm gonna set you guys up looking at the screen, rip the dirt bike around a little bit so you can see what that looks like. Well, there you have it. Simply safe video cameras installed. I also got a couple other things installed inside the house. So maybe eventually once some of the projects in the house are taken care of and finished, maybe I'll hand the camera off to Bridget and get her to take you guys for a little house tour, but that might be like a month down the road. It's still kind of a mess in there. But anyways, that is so sick. That's gonna be great peace of mind that no matter where I am in the country, I can just flip open my app, uh, wake the cameras up and see what's going on at the house, see if there's any unfamiliar vehicles or anything in the driveway or, uh, you know, just see what's going on. I like that. If a package shows up, I know right where it is. I can make sure nobody's gonna come and take that. Um, it's just a really good peace of mind, especially like I said, after my CR250 project build got stolen last year. I've kind of been on edge, just not trusting anyone or anything. So this is definitely gonna be some good peace of mind there. Simply Safe also has an interactive monitoring system where professionals will monitor the footage and activity on your different devices. And if need be, like if one of the alarm goes off or if one of the motion sensors on the cameras goes off, um, a professional will actually view the footage or, or take a look at the alarm, check in with you, make sure it wasn't just a false. And if something is going on, they'll actually notice the police and the police will come um, whether you're here or not so if you guys are watching my channel I assume you have motocross bikes or other valuable stuff in your garages if you guys are interested in picking some of that up there's actually a 20% off discount code that I have because like I said simply safe is sponsoring this video which is rad you can just head to simplysafe.com forward slash Jeff Walker and that will get you 20% off of your order and the first month of your interactive monitoring service for free so definitely go check that out thank you simply safe for sponsoring today's video and for helping us keep our beloved dirt bike safe here at the new Walker Motorsports race shop and compound. So now that our first race shop mod is installed, um, I figured I would put my GoPro on and mic myself up and take you guys for a little tour of the property. Um, it's not huge or anything, it's only an acre and a half, but I figured you guys would like to get a good look at the surroundings so that when you're watching these videos of me here, you kind of feel more like you know the, the layout of the land and you can just get a little more immersed in it. So I'm gonna toss my GoPro on and take you guys for a little ride around the new Walker compound. All right, got the helmet on with a microphone installed. Let's go for a little tour of the compound. Looks like Bridge is over there hard at work, painting up some stuff for our stairs. Good work, Bridge. Ooh, it's been a little while since we uh, hopped on the 450 here. All right, so heading over into the back corner over here. This is like the open side of the uh, the yard over here. We actually weren't sure if we even owned this when we first bought it, because like I said, we got it at auction. Finally, the farmer came over and told us we owned all this over here, so that's awesome. Um, big enough for an arena cross track, I'd say. Maybe even a little super cross track. Definitely a small one, but uh, not too much to see over here. Pretty open. Got the new race shop over here, just a little guy. House over yonder. And it is just cornfield for miles, dude. Like, you gotta squint to see the next closest neighbor. But, little burn pit out here. 
definitely could do some wheelies out here for sure. Speaking of which, out to the road, front of the house, we got a nice walnut tree right here, which is actually pretty unfortunate for mowing, but yeah, just a nice small little house. But dude, it's perfect. I mean, you look that way, no neighbors in sight no neighbors in sight there's actually a railroad right here which has been super nice the train when it goes by is pretty relaxing so dude it's awesome it's our little slice of heaven out here and if i want to i can do wheelies in my own yard let's go there you go there's a little tour of the uh the yard like i said nothing too crazy just an acre and a half but uh it's our little slice of heaven out here it's nice being back out in the country after living at my parents house which is in a little subdivision honestly i feel like an old man just with my cup of coffee sitting on the back porch just watching the cornfield so pretty awesome out here um we definitely love it we can't wait to actually fully move in because like i said we have a lot of house projects going on so we haven't actually fully moved in yet so uh probably in the next week or two we'll be in here with uh with the dog and the cat so looking forward to that for sure but now as i said it's time to do a little cleanup in the barn because it is an absolute mess not going to do anything too crazy just kind of get the sawdust off the floor um organize things a little bit and get ready to tear their stud wall out as you guys can see they kind of made a stud wall in here but they did it really weird um like for example i don't know why they wouldn't just utilize the post as one of the studs instead of putting one literally half an inch over and then i think the electrical service coming out here is only 10 amp which is not going to work we're going to need a lot more than that so we're going to have to dig a trench get some beefier electric wires running out here so that's all stuff that you guys can look forward to but yeah first things first i just need to clean it out and get it ready for demolition let's clean up a little bit shall we Okay, well, that's a lot better anyway. I got most of the wood stacked up together over here. Um, some insulation over there, a little more wood over there. I'm still gonna leave the saw up because there are a couple more things that we're gonna be doing. Oh, buddy boy, how do you like your new barn? Oh, are you gonna be a shop dog? Probably not, you're kind of a wuss. It's all right though, we still love you. But yeah, as you can see, much better. That's kind of the disaster wall over there where I'm just, oh, what? <laughs> wow, you're adorable. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's kind of the disaster wall over there, just where I'm stacking everything up for the time being, close to the door so that when it comes time to doing the floor, I can just get it out quick. Um, but yeah, the rest, clean enough to at least put a dirt bike in here. I wasn't going for perfection or anything, just making it a little better. Here we are guys, I think that's gonna do it for episode one of the, I guess I guess you could call this the barn build. We did upgrade it a little bit by putting some security out and cleaning it up, but uh, the next episode is going to be fully cleaning it out, ripping the stud wall out so that we can epoxy the floor. My buddy Travis just actually stopped by and uh, measured out the floor so that he can order the epoxy. So that's probably gonna be the next episode, tearing out the walls, getting the floor done, Episode three will probably be running the trench and running the cables and everything out here. And then electric after that, insulation, walls, um, ceiling, all sorts of awesome stuff. And then once it's finally built, I think we need another two stroke. I don't even know if I can wait that long. I think we might need another two stroke before this barn build is complete. So uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff this fall, guys. On top of that, I think I'm gonna be racing the Ironman GNCC at the end of October, so that's gonna be an awesome one. Um, I've always felt like I would be okay in the woods just because of how like smooth and methodical I am on a dirt bike. So now that I'm home for the fall, I think it makes perfect sense for me to go try that out. So definitely gonna head up north and do some trail riding this month to kind of get my woods feet wet, I guess you could say. And then hopefully we're gonna go send the Ironman GNCC. Kind of depends on how the shoulder is feeling since I did just dislocate that. But uh, yeah, we're going to get back on the bike soon. Just couldn't be more stoked, man. It's going to be an awesome fall and uh, I'm stoked to take you guys 
on the journey with me. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Again, Simply Safe, thank you for sponsoring the video. Remember to go to simplysafe.com forward slash Jeff Walker if you wanna get 20% off and your first month free of the surveillance program. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Lots of fun stuff coming up. Peace out, we'll catch you in the next one. Later. I like your style, put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I run the mile. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. It's crazy how we started, not to what the love you can't